Hey everyone, Collapse and Protect here, and today we'll be taking a look at this Emperor Firearms HD-12. This is an ultra-budget shotgun made in Turkey, and you can pick one up right now for around $130. The Emperor Firearms HD-12 is a pump-action shotgun, 12-gauge, that holds four shells in the magazine tube and one in the chamber. There isn't a lot of information about this gun online, but what we can assume is that HD-12 stands for Home Defense 12-gauge. The good news is that it's made in a factory that is ISO 9000 certified. All this means is that the factory has to adhere to consistent manufacturing processes to maintain the certification. So as long as the sample runs well and proves to be reliable, we can bet that all of the Emperor HD-12s are of the same quality. The gun comes with a sturdy fixed plastic pistol grip stock and an attached rubber recoil pad, a sling mounting point, and an adjustable cheek piece for if you ever decide to mount an optic. It also boasts an integrated four-shot shell carrier that holds your extra shells firmly in place. I really like the cheek riser because whenever you shoulder this thing and get down on the gun, you can guarantee that you get a nice sight picture every time just by finding the height that's right for you. Aside from looking tactic cool, I definitely appreciate the ability to carry extra shells right out of the box without having to buy any kind of side saddle. If I can carry more ammo on the gun, I will. Granted, you probably won't be emergency reloading from the Emperor's stock, but once you slide your shells in there, they fit tightly and they don't stand a chance of falling out. The pistol grip is comfortable and the whole setup feels solid and well put together. The trigger on the Emperor 12 is surprisingly smooth and barely has any take up before it breaks. When you first feel how the trigger pivots, it feels kind of odd. It's not a straight pull to the rear and is almost more of a levering action with a bit of rearward travel. Coming in at around 7 pounds of pull, it's far from the worst trigger I've felt and still a steal at this price point. It's not bad, it's just different. The Emperor 12 has a crossbolt safety that's easily visible because of its light gray color and an action release that sits in front of the trigger guard. On top of the receiver, we've got an adjustable ghost ring sight pick rail combo. The pick rail will let us run an optic like a red dot and will co-witness with something like an RMR. The ghost ring pick rail combo sits on a standard dovetail mount, so if you ever want to remove these sights, it's as easy as loosening an allen screw and sliding them off. The shell lifter acts as a loading gate and functions smoothly when loading the four shot magazine. Moving up the gun to the pump, the action on this gun is surprisingly smooth and the pump is pretty comfortable in the hand. The single best thing about this gun is that it uses dual pump action rods for improved reliability. Other more premium brands use dual rods to eliminate side play, potential binding and friction when running your shotgun under stress, and the Emperor even included this integrated pick rail on the bottom of the pump so that you can add a flashlight or another accessory without having to buy an adapter. The barrel is 18 and a half inches long and it's chrome lined. A chrome lined barrel is a huge selling point for this thing. That means the shotgun will be easier to clean and the interior of the barrel will be more durable overall. This is a feature that even a lot of shotguns four times the price don't have. Mounted on top is a red fiber optic front post that does a great job at making target acquisition quick and effortless. So finally, we arrive at the muzzle end, and what is this? It almost looks like some kind of door breaching muzzle device, but it definitely isn't. It's not ported on top, so it can't be a compensator of any kind, and it's attached by friction and a single set Allen screw. So aside from being a solid chunk of metal that you could use to bludgeon something with if you run out of ammo, it's probably just for looks. So on paper, it looks like a pretty good deal, but does it actually work? Well, yeah, it does. It works really, really well. I ran a hundred rounds, a mixture of birdshot, buckshot, and slugs through the Emperor, and this thing ate them all without a single hiccup. The HD-12 is lightweight, coming in at about six pounds, and you can definitely feel that when shooting. All of those recoil forces are transferred right into your shoulder, but that's to be expected. The short trigger allows for fast follow-up shots, and the action pumps smoothly and locks up nice and tight. All the controls function as they should, and I had a lot of fun shooting it. 
The Emperor 12 didn't disappoint, and I can comfortably say that I would feel safe using this for the purpose illustrated in its name, Home Defense. It's got great ergonomics, room to store more ammo, a smooth action, great sights, it's lightweight and easy to operate. The only downside to this thing is that its magazine capacity is a little lower than I'd prefer, but importers have to stick to the four shot limit and it's non-negotiable. I've read on a few forums that Remington 870 and Winchester magazine tube extensions may fit these, but I have yet to see any hard proof of that. So should you buy this incredibly cheap and feature rich shotgun? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, buy two of them like I did. Normally you'll find this gun on sale for about $350. But right now you can pick it up from kygunco.com for way cheaper. For 130 bucks, this is a great deal for yourself, a gift for someone else, or a stout beat around gun you don't have to worry about dinging up when you take it out of the gun safe. Let me know what your experience with the Emperor is in the comments. This has been Collapse and Protect. Have fun and be safe.